Hello, hello, everyone. So today we're going to be doing the new update log of um, the police update and fire. So they basically uh, redid the fire hose system. They added police customization even more. They've been doing that every update now. Um, that looks insane. I'm guessing they put... Oh, yeah, I think it might have been that. Um, criminal hideout, gun store revamp. So let's check out the civilian cars. So they added a lot in this update. 2016, um, let's see, 2016, I wish I could search it, um, so this is the blackjack wide body, which is cool, I don't know if you had to customize it, but it's definitely cool, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it real quick, so I can show you guys this better, so this looks really good, um, so it's previously only available for mods, and I wasn't even aware. I didn't think <gasps> they added a McLaren. Wait, 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 wait. What? Bro, hold on, hold on. They added a McLaren. Yo, what? Okay, that is insane. Um, so I thought it was a 2022 version, but I was wrong. So whatever. This is a cool SUV. I can't afford that car because I'm poor. Um, so I'll have my friend showcase it in a second here. I don't think that was Bedwars that had it. I'll go ahead and TP over to them in a second. But this is a really cool car. I love all these cars on this new update. Let me go ahead and TP over to him. I believe he... Uh, actually, hold on. I'll, go, I'll find who it was. All right, so it uh, is Brayden here. So this is a really nice looking car. Um, so this is a new exotic. This probably I think this is replacing the Lamborghini. 150. All right, now it's not replacing the Lambo then. It's just another cool exotic. It's a really cool car. I like this. All right, so we're going to go ahead, I believe. Let me go ahead and check the logs again. All right, so gun store revamp. Um, we'll check that out. Criminal hideout. We'll do that. Not to train. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and test out. I'm going to tell them to High Rock Park. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut until we're at High Rock. Okay, so now we're at the... Uh, Criminal base, so we're gonna go ahead and check out the inside. This looks really good. Yo, is anything here? <gasps> Hold on, they added a cave. They added a cave. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, they added a whole entire cave system. How long does this go for? Oh, and then it goes out here. Yo, that is insane. I love this update. This is probably the best update they've had all year. Really? One down here. There's nothing. Hold on, is there? There's a there's a crate somewhere in here. Is it inside of one of the rooms? I saw. I'm gonna go check that out. Let's check that out real quick. Um, inside. Oh, uh, there's nothing in here. I thought it was. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead TP to ERLC Bedwars. He has he's at the gun store, I believe. Is this the new gun store? Yo, this is insane. Check out the fire hose flashlight. I know. I'll do that as well. Okay, so they got there's cash register, weapon safe. So wait, what? Suddenly so gear. How do you get how do you get weapon safes? Honestly, this is probably one of the best ones they had all year. All right, there's a shooting range. There's a back door, shooting range. Oh really? Huh. Okay. Okay, so, um, let's see. What else have we... Fire hose, criminal. We've done all of this stuff here. We need to do the LEO lights. We're gonna do fire hose. So, uh, I believe Jack is kind of doing an overview of what it is, which is really cool. Honestly, I want to test it out for myself, though. So, you have to plug it into a hydrant, am I, am I correct? Yeah, you have to plug it in your pipe that's in the hydrant. Oh, that was kind of a wrong car, but it's fine. All right. I spawned in a special operations unit. Let's go ahead and check this out. Um, but yeah, so, oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. And after that, that's pretty much it for this video. So, yeah. Okay, so, there's a new fire hose update. So, I put it, you can select the length. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it. So, I'm going to go ahead and discard this hose here. Uh... There we go. So, basically, you got to come into any engine, ladder, truck, I believe, heavy rescue, just like something with uh, this kind of thing. So, there's get supply intake. I don't know what that is. I, I do not know what any of this is. So, select attack hose length. So, here, if it's like short fire, you can do 50. It's short. 
and then you could change it. And then like get supply intake 250 feet. And then this is this is basically going to the fire hydrant. So you don't need it that long typically, but I just selected it to be that long. So you could go ahead and pick up this hose and you could take it over and fight the fire, which is really cool. So of course it's only I can only walk this far because there's a, there's a max length. So this is a really cool update. I think you can even drive. No, you can't. Oh, I thought you could. In real life, the sometimes to clear fires, they do that really quickly. Like, they attach a 250-foot line and they drive back to the fire. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. This, they still have the old simple fire hose, but honestly, this is what we're going to be using for role plays from now on. Like, it's going to be so much better. So, um, now our last and only thing that we need to do for this update, we're going to go on the police team. And after that, I forgot that High Rock Park, they actually completely revamped it. So, yeah. Uh, Ben Wars, are you at High Rock Park? And then I'll TP to you if you are. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and just pick a random car. We'll pick the Falcon Intercept Utility. Let's do that. Okay, so let's look at the lighting options. Okay, so they added, let's see. Um, is it gonna load? Okay, here we go. So they added dash light. Oh, so this is a new light here. They added, yeah, there's two dash lights. There's one on the top and, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think anything else, though. Oh, hold on. Small side runner, which are these... Yeah, that was what we saw in there. And then you could put none and then side runners. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing on here? Let's check. They added dash lights, grill lights. A lot of the stuff... They just added basically the dash lights, so that's it. And they added the small side runners. These are really cool. I'm not... I'm just gonna go ahead and spawn it in with these odds real quick, because I thought there was more, but it's just one. Okay, let's go spawn it in. Let's see what this looks like. Alright. Um... Okay, so let's see. There's small side runners. This looks really good. I feel like this is too small. No department really uses that. But yeah, so let's go ahead and just drive over to High Rock Park now, and I'll go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so they literally added a tool booth and an interior. There's an interior here. I don't think there's anything that you can do on this. Pay toll. Um, so pay toll. Oh, gate is currently open. Hold on. How much is the toll? Three pay toll. Three bucks? Okay, well, um, you know, there's still this. Um, so if you don't want to pay it, you don't have to, because you can just drive around it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this would be great for, like, border role plays and, like, a military base. Like, this could, this could be really cool. I don't think they read it anything else. Have you guys checked that? They read it anything else? No. Yeah, I know. Okay, so that's basically it for this update. I really hope you guys did enjoy. This was an amazing update. Um, very good. This was probably one of the best updates we had all year. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.